Pinterest, easiest way to earn money. Pinterest is more than just a social media platform full of Harry Styles fan photos and dog Halloween costumes. But besides this, it also offers a chance to make some serious money. The revenue opportunities are undeniable on Pinterest, with 416 million active global users monthly and 200 billion or more saved pins to date. So to know how to make money on Pinterest, watch the video till the end, as we are showing you foolproof money-making strategies you can start implementing for businesses and influencers looking to monetize their Pinterest channel. And if you enjoy such content, make sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and turn on the notification bell icon to never miss another upload of ours. Here we begin with numerous other ways to turn your pins into sales opportunities. Number one, collaboration with a brand. To make money on Pinterest, you don't need a product or even an affiliate link to one. You can also sell your audience's access. Maybe it's fitness-obsessed moms or teen vegans. When you have a solid following, you have something valuable that other brands may be interested in. Firstly, gather your data. You can't just walk in and expect Lululemon to hand over some cash. Trust me, you'll need hard numbers to pique a brand's interest. Collect information about your followers, such as demographics, engagement, shares, and opinions. Then, when you approach a potential partner, you'll be ready to explain why your target audience is a good fit. Now, approach relevant brands. There are numerous ways for brands to support Pinterest influencers, including curating a shared board, sponsoring specific pins, and organizing takeovers. Send your collaboration ideas to brands who might be interested in your audience. Include contact information for partnership requests in your Pinterest profile to remind the world that you're open for business. Also, build your own media kit. For example, if you want to work with paid partners or host advertisements or sponsorships on your Pinterest boards, you should create a media kit. A media kit is a document that contains information about your followers and engagement, as well as a snapshot of your brand and its worth. Prices for specific advertising opportunities may also be included. Make a stylish PDF available for download using a graphic design template, or feature the information directly on your main website or blog. Once you have this in your toolbox, initiating a conversation about partnership opportunities is quick and simple. But of course, as with any social platform, great content is the ultimate key to success. So make sure you're creating pins that you're proud of. Number two, assist people in purchasing your look. Around 48% of Pinterest users prioritize shopping, so don't pass up an opportunity to merchandise your digital storefront. First, show off a well-dressed outfit or a chic space to inspire others. Then, tag the specific products in the photo so your followers can shop the look. For that, create a Pinterest business account first. Catalogs and shopping ads are only available to business accounts. You can either upgrade your existing personal account or create a new business account. With a Pinterest business account, you can access advertising and marketing options for your pins. However, you must sign up to capitalize on your organic growth by investing in reaching new audiences. Business accounts have access to formats such as video, carousel, and collections, which could be a good opportunity to get creative and stand out in Pinterest users' feeds. Secondly, submit your product catalog. Product pins can be generated automatically for your entire product catalog on most e-commerce websites. This unique pin format includes real-time pricing information, a product description, and availability. In addition, users can complete the transaction directly on your website by clicking through. Rich pins can be created for any non-compatible e-commerce products. These also display product information, but you must create each one separately, and you cannot use them for shopping ads. Finally, create a collection to highlight your products. You can now upload a lifestyle image to Pinterest and tag your products, allowing users to shop your look immediately. For that, always make eye-catching graphics. This is an image-based medium. You must be graphic if you want to capture the attention of users. Photos should be of high quality and oriented vertically. Over is a great graphic design tool for overlaying text or adding distinguishing graphic flourishes to really make your images stand out from the feed. Number three, work as a virtual assistant. Why not try going pro after you've honed your Pinterest craft? Some businesses recognize the value of Pinterest audiences, but lack the in-house resources to manage an account. Offering your services as a Pinterest virtual assistant could be a lucrative business venture. Virtual assistants may schedule posts, create Pinterest pins, or manage advertisements, 
Depending on the brand, this role may also include community management and outreach. Firstly, make sure your own account is in good shape. Getting hired as a Pinterest expert will be difficult if your own boards aren't in good shape. Pinterest suggests using eye-catching images and adding a text overlay for top-tier pinning. Secondly, make the world aware that you are open for business. Reaching out to your own network to spread the word, whether in person or on social media, is a great place to start. You can also reach out to companies looking for help by posting on job boards or freelancer sites like Fiverr. Number four, become an affiliate marketer on Pinterest. Affiliate marketing allows you to earn money when people click on a link you provide and make a purchase. There's no need to stockpile inventory or run your own e-commerce store. Simply share a tracked link and earn a commission if someone clicks through and purchases. For that, firstly, sign up as an affiliate. To sell a product successfully, you must first get it in front of the right people. Rather than joining every affiliate program you can find, choose brands or products that will specifically appeal to your followers. Affiliate opportunities are available from big brands and startups, so research what's available in your preferred field. Secondly, use a URL shortener to track clicks even more precisely. You'll be given a special tracking code to add to links to track all sales that come through you. But if you want to collect your own data, try URL shorteners. These are tools that track click-through rates and are frequently free. Use one shortened URL for posting sweatpants on your lazy Sunday board and another for your work from home outfits board and see which gets more attention. The third step is to use affiliate links to promote products on your board. Share those products via Pinterest, make sure they pop and get those affiliate links out there. The good news is that if another person repins your pin, your affiliate link will also be shared. The fourth step is to pay close attention to Pinterest's rules and regulations. Pinterest occasionally decides that affiliate links are too spammy for their liking and will crack down on affiliate marketing. Keep up with Pinterest's changes and attitudes to avoid being penalized. For example, Pinterest user at Kristen Lee shared this lifestyle photo on her Like to Know It page, where followers can shop the products in the image by clicking on affiliate links. If anyone else purchases this coffee table book, Kristen will receive a small commission which she will most likely use to purchase more adorable props for her photo shoots. Number five, you can increase traffic to your online store. Pinterest is a natural opportunity for brands with e-commerce offering to drive traffic and sales. Like a digital breadcrumb trail, you can use pins to showcase your products and direct followers back to your website to shop. Put some money behind your pins to increase their reach. Promoted pins can be optimized to achieve various objectives, such as increasing traffic or growing your Pinterest followers. For that, the first step is to create pins that link to your online store. Upload eye-catching product photos or create eye-catching images with graphic design templates created in-house by Hootsuite's designers. Download your free pack of five customizable Pinterest templates right now. Professional designs save time and make it simple to promote your brand. Ideally, link these images to your website-specific product page so followers can buy right away. The fewer clicks required to complete a transaction, the better. You can also participate in the community. What you put in is what you get out. By liking, commenting on, and repinning other people's pins, you can embrace the social media platform's social aspect. Following accounts or specific boards are another great way to encourage follow-ups. Secondly, put your SEO skills to use. Use strategic keywords that describe or define the product or style to help Pinterest users find your pin. Use these in the description of your pin, as well as your profile, and ideally your URL. These will also help your pins appear in Google search results, so be specific. For example, Gladly offers a variety of pins that highlight the benefits of its press and seal cling film. If you've been meal prepping all week and have been waiting for this type of product recommendation, Clicking on the pin will take you directly to Glad's website to purchase some for yourself. And when you are using your SEO skills, the primary one is to do your keyword research. Keywords help people find your pins via direct search as well as Pinterest's recommendation algorithm. In addition, keywords act as a meddling matchmaker, bringing content and users together for a romantic relationship. Needless to say, it's critical to include the appropriate keywords in any text field. This includes your pin description, text overlay, board title, and profile description. Begin with something broad to determine the best keywords. 
enter your target keyword into the Pinterest search bar, and you'll see color tiles that suggest related keywords appear below. Once you've gathered your useful keywords, put them to use. But avoid becoming spammy. Use keywords in complete sentences rather than stuffing as many as you can in there. So, what do you think of the ways to make money on Pinterest? Let us know in the comments below.